Want to feel healthier this year? Why not challenge yourself to go dry this February to raise funds for the Canadian Cancer Society? With Dry Feb, not only will you be helping people affected by cancer, but the less alcohol you drink, the more you reduce your own risk of cancer. Give the challenge a try. It's easier than you think. Sign up today at dryfeb.ca. I know many people that are doing Dry February, just a great initiative and, of course, raises funds for a great cause, the Canadian Cancer Society. And joining me from the Canadian Cancer Society is Sienna Van Dusen. Sienna, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. And um, this is a great initiative. Let, let's first of all talk a little bit about the purpose behind this, Sienna. Yeah, so as we heard in that video, uh, Dry February is a campaign to encourage Canadians to go alcohol-free for the month of February while raising funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. And I think it's great to know that those funds go towards three really important areas. First is funding world-class cancer research. Second is to changing healthy public policy. And third is providing compassionate support care services to all those affected by cancer. Sienna, let's dive into each of those um, just a little more in depth. As far as research goes, I mean, I, I think you would say, and, and most people watching, uh, boy, oh boy, have we come a long way when it comes to cancer research, haven't we? We have come an enormously long way. And uh, most recently, we know that 1.5 million uh, people in Canada are living with and beyond cancer. That's incredible news. It's incredible progress. But it also means that more people than ever are requiring support care services from organizations like the Canadian Cancer Society. So we're glad to be there for those Canadians and their families who need it when they need it most. So Sienna, outside of the research, you mentioned those other two components. Let, let's talk about those two components and what the Canadian Cancer Society offers Canadians. Yeah, so right now we know that our uh, new Canada's guidance on alcohol and health came out most recently. And so we're really uh, glad to see this news. We think there's incredible opportunity to be reflecting on our alcohol consumption. And uh, what better way to do that than participating in dry February? Um, it's a great chance to try it on, experience some of the benefits that those do and we reduce our alcohol consumption and like I said, raise funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. Sienna, what is that link then between, between alcohol and, and cancer? We know that alcohol is a class one carcinogen, which means it is a cancer causing substance and that consuming any type of alcohol increases our risk of developing at least nine different types of cancer. When people do dry February, I know that there are, are many benefits. My wife and I have done it as well, um, but you, you can speak better than I can on the benefits. Tell me about some of the benefits that, that you hear from people. Yeah, we, it's exciting how many benefits we do hear from our participants. Everything from sleeping better to having clearer skin, clearer minds, more energy. And of course, uh, the great feeling of participating and being part of a really meaningful cause and raising money for Canadians. Do you think, I mean, uh, studies have shown as well, Sienna, that during the pandemic, we saw uh, quite a rise in, in both alcohol consumption and drug consumption. That must be sort of on your radar at the Canadian Cancer Society. Um, from your own research over the, the last three years, is, is that something you're confronting as well? It is something we're thinking about. And one of the great pieces about our new uh, guide, uh, guidance is that we're talking about having these conversations without shame, without stigma, um, meeting people where they're at. Any reduction is good reduction. And uh, we actually know that a qu uh, three quarters of our participants who participate in dry February say that they'll continue to drink less throughout the rest of the year. Uh, so obviously feeling enough benefits uh, that they'll continue. And so why not give it a try? this month join yeah. us um, we're obviously you know halfway through the month of February it, it's not too late to sign up though is it it's never too late to participate uh, go to dryfeb.ca and also if you're not feeling like taking on this challenge but you'd like to support somebody who is or donate to the Canadian Cancer Society in general uh, dryfed.ca you can also donate there as well as uh, sign up for your own participation yeah Sienna walk me through I mean how the how the fundraising portion works so if I if I join as, a, as an individual I'm reaching out I guess to to my family and friends and asking for for donations I mean it's as simple as that I guess 
Yeah, there's great tools uh, on drivefeb.ca to help you share this on your social media platforms. Uh, as far as completing this successfully, it's a great uh, way to reach out to family and friends just to let them know that you're doing this. They can support you. Uh, you can even join a team. So whether that's collecting a group of your own friends or uh, trying to find like-minded people to, to accomplish this challenge together, we do think it makes it a lot easier uh, to do this month successfully uh, with the, with with other people what pieces of advice would you give to somebody that you know is is trying maybe they they've started and they're they're, they're struggling a little bit as a, as the month sort of continues on or someone that's about to start um what advice would you give to somebody to you know to help them stay dry during the month of february yeah, lots of good ways to stay dry this month. First of all, substituting some of our other drinks with non-alcoholic options like mocktails, teas, non-alcoholic beers and wines. Uh, getting active is another thing. Planning activities and um, uh, outside of the house that maybe isn't in a restaurant or bar. So we've got beautiful weather here in Ottawa, uh, hoping that people enjoy the, the sunshine and the temperate weather. But um, yeah, also going to drivefeb.ca, there's a lot more tools and tips and tricks uh, for both fundraising and successfully going dry this month. Are you participating yourself? And if so, how's it been going for, for you and, and maybe you know some, some of your friends and family? I am. So this is uh, the Canadian Cancer Society's eighth year, but it's my first year okay. joining. And it's been a really awesome uh, 14 days now. So we're halfway through the month. So far, so good. I've got a lot of support and love from my family and friends that helps. And I, I have been exploring with some different options. And uh, so it, it's a bit of a journey, but I think that it's something we can all be engaging with uh, at different levels. And uh, uh I'm, uh, I'm looking forward the, to the next 14 and really getting the full experience. Well, excellent. Congratulations to you. I, <laughs> you know, as I said, my wife and I have done it as well. And um, it's, it's much easier than a lot of people think. Really appreciate the time today, mm -hmm. Sienna. Um, just a reminder, ifeb.ca is the place to go. We're going to be talking Heart Month coming up after the break, so don't go anywhere.